Okay, I would really like to talk to you about how to rewrite exponentials. Um, you are very, very familiar with the, uh, if I ask you for the opposite of addition, you say subtraction. If I say the opposite of multiplication, you say division. If I say the opposite of squaring something, you would say square root. But what's the opposite of taking something to a power? Um, the answer to that question is something called a logarithm. And um, I know that's a million dollar word there. But I need you to understand something. A logarithm is a single word synonym. You guys know what synonyms are. They are words that mean the same thing. It is a single word synonym for exponent. So the logarithm in this case is that little five right there. Now, what you see in front of you is a base. I'll put a box around it. raised to a power and it equals a value. Now, they use the word argument but in all reality it's just a value. Now, in this particular situation, your base is a 3. So oftentimes I'm going to draw three boxes and ask you what to fill in those boxes. Well, the base here is 3, the power is 5, or I should say exponent base exponent that would probably be a better choice of words and i'll probably use that from now on base exponent equals argument okay how do i rearrange rearrange that into its other form okay um we are going to use a notation that looks like this L O G that's an abbreviation for logarithm and then I'm gonna have a small number sitting next to it which is going to contain the base sitting next to that at the same level as the L O G that'll be the argument And what's it equal to? Well, we said a single word synonym for logarithm is exponent. And I'll just abbreviate exponent since I'm running out of room. So, the base here is 3. Now, if you, hopefully, it's easy for you to tell which number represents the base. But let's suppose you don't know what should go in the next box. That's why I would suggest putting the exponent in its spot. That only leaves you with one box left over and it's 243. Now, how do I read that? log base 3 of 243 equals 5. Log base 3 of 243. In other words, now, 
you might ask me, well, Mr. Staley, why don't they just use EXP? Instead of, uh, instead of LOG, why don't they just use the abbreviation EXP? Because if logarithm means exponent, it would just make a whole lot more sense. I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, because I think it would make more sense. But, um, logarithm is a synonym for exponent. And you just need to be familiar with that terminology. So the purple part that I have over here, I'll circle it in blue right now, that is the answer to this question. It says, write that in log form. Okay. So, let's do question two. Log, little base, normal size, argument equals normal size exponent. Let's think about what goes into boxes. The base looks like 6. Choose the exponent next just so you because you know where it goes. That only leaves you with one thing left. Log base 6 of 36 equals 2. Now if this skill of going back and forth between these two things is not something that you can master, then this will be a very difficult chapter. It is something that you absolutely have to be able to do. So, it's not a minor skill, it's a major skill. Okay, write that in logarithmic form. Okay, so log base normal size argument, normal size exponent. Okay, what's the base? Well, it looks like the base is 5. The exponent goes on the other side. That only leaves me with one other thing. 25. Log base 5 of 25 equals 2. Uh, in other words, the exponent on, 20, uh, on 5, which gets me 25, is equal to 2. We've got quite a few uh, examples like this, just to kind of get you into the practice. Log base something of something equals something. So, that's all I, I you know, overkilled on examples here. Uh, we've got log base 4. And then negative 3 goes on the other side. That leaves me with 1 over 64 for this box. Now the reason I brought up this example is because I wanted to know what you would do with that. Now hopefully you realize that's 25 to the 1 half power equals 5. We know it's a square root, but now I can rewrite it into its other form. Log, base, normal size, uh, argument, normal size, exponent. So the base in this case is 25. The exponent is 1 half. And the only thing left is 5. Log base 25 of 5 equals 1 half. Now, we can go the other direction. In this particular example, they're looking for a particular exponent. We'll see if we can help them. I always tell my students to set these things equal to x. They don't do it in Math Excel. You won't see that written in a lot of textbooks, but I think it's absolutely necessary for you to kind of wrap your mind around what's going on. So I'm going to ask you to change to exponential form. So, 
That means we'll have something to the something power equals something. We will need a base. Well, it looks like the base is 2. Well, the exponent, ah, that's the part that's on the other side of the equal sign. And then the only thing left is the 32. Now, what I would like you to do is start thinking about how to change 32 into a power of 2. Is that 2 to the second? Is that 2 to the third? 2 to the 3rd would be 8, 2 to the 4th would be 16, 2 to the 5th would be 32. Okay, now I'm going to ask you this question over and over and over again. If the left side is equal to the right side, and these symbols in between guarantee that that's a true statement, so if the left side is equal to the right side, and I hope that you're noticing that the bases are exactly the same. See that base and that base, exactly the same? That must mean one thing. It must mean that the exponents are also the same. x equals 5. So, The answer to my question, what exponent on 2 gets me 32? Well, that exponent would be 5. We're going to do this quite a bit. I don't know why there's a duplicate question right there. Uh, I, I can change it. Um, log base 32 of 2 equals x. We can, we can rearrange this and make it a different question. Um, we're still going to say something to the something power equals something. Uh, this is, I obviously have changed this question and made it a little bit more difficult. So we have 32 is the base. Um, remember logarithm means exponent, so that means x is the exponent. And uh, the only thing left is the 2. Now, in order to figure out what the exponent is, we have to get both sides to have a common base. In this case, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the 5th to the x equals 2. Well, What am I allowed to do with these exponents? Back in Algebra 1, we learned, hey, that would be 2 to the 5x equals 2 to the first. Hopefully, you see that the bases are the same. So that, has, that means one, only one thing can be true about these two exponents. They have to be equal. And if I set up this little equation, 5x equals 1, what would you do to solve it? You would probably divide by 5, right? So, the x value is 1 fifth. One fifth. Okay, so now we need to keep practicing. We set it equal to x. We change it into its other form, something to the something power equals something. What's the base? 256. What's the exponent? Oh, yes. And what's the remaining number that it's equal to? 4. Well, so this one's going to be very similar to the last one. Q 
Can you rewrite 256 as a power of 4? 4 to what power gets me 256? <sighs> well, I know 4 to the 3rd is 256. Or, or no, 64. I think that's it. 4 to the 5th. Now, 4 to the 3rd, 4 to the 4th. And then what am I allowed to do with these exponents and this exponent? Set them equal to each other. And then we can solve it quickly, easily. So we ended up with one fourth. Okay, so keep the process going. Something to the something power equals another value. Eight, right? That's your base. The unknown exponent. The unknown exponent is x. And the last remaining value is 2. So we can uh, do a process where we can rewrite this as a power of 2, 2 to the third, and then of course x over here. And then uh, I start 2 to the third raised to the x equals 2 to the first. Now, with that being said, that means that this exponent has to equal that exponent. So 3x has to equal 1. So what does 1x equal? One third. You'll notice that 9 and 10 are pretty much the same question, so we're going to skip number 10 because it's a duplicate. So 11, it's equal to x, something to the something power equals something. Okay, now we figure out what goes in the boxes. Base, 5. Exponent, x, equals the last number. We're going to now rewrite 25 as 5 to a power. And 25 would be 5 squared. So, if the left side equals the right side, and the bases are the same, what do we know about these exponents? They have to be the same. So the answer to the question is 2. Man, 12's a duplicate, too. This is really lame. Too many duplicates. Set it equal to x. Change it to its other form. Base is 3. Exported is x. Equals 9. Is there a way to change 9 to be a power of 3? Three? 3 squared, huh? So if the left side equals the right side and the bases are the same, what do you know about the exponents? They must be the same. Okay, we're going to do uh, three more problems. So set it equal to x. Something to the something power equals something. 
base is 16. Exponent is unknown. And the argument that it equals 2. Okay. So, I think it's easy to see that you cannot write 2 as a power of 16. Otherwise, this would be over with in a hurry. But, we could split up the 16 into 2 to the 4th power. Raised to the x equals 2. That's 2 to the 1st, by the way. What are we allowed to do with these exponents? We are allowed to multiply them. So that's 2 to the 4x equals 2 to the 1st. If the left side is equal to the right side, and the bases are the same, then so are their exponents. And if 4x is equal to 1, then x is a quarter. Going to do a couple more and be done with this, this set of notes. Log base 9 of 1. Set it equal to x. Something to the something power equals something. Nine is the base. X is the exponent. The only thing that's left is this. What is the only exponent you can put in the box that you can raise nine to and end up with a one? The only thing you could do is have 9 to the 0. So the answer to this question is 0. Okay, so one more question for this video. Evaluate the expression without using a calculator. Okay. Now, two things. Yeah, we're going to set it equal to x. I understand that. Um, whenever you do not see a base, like right there, there's no base. It's always going to be 10. It's called a common log. Common log. So, something to the something power equals something. Base exponent the only remaining number is ten thousand. So can we rewrite ten thousand as a power of ten? Ten to the fourth okay so if the left side equals the right side and the base is the same then the exponents are also the same all right that's enough for this this particular uh, lesson we'll do more with logarithms tomorrow or coming soon <laughs>